Amber and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be the first official video in the Use Up Your Paper little mini series I'm going to be doing. The first unofficial project for this series was in my last video and I'm going to go ahead and link it here for you or I'll link it in the description as well so you can go ahead and check that out. I have been trying to work on and design a really easy way to use up a lot of 12 by 12 paper as I discussed in the last video and so I came up with a couple of mini album designs and I think I decided that I like this design better um, for for the purpose of using up more paper this design here is really really nice as well but these are just kind of my practice rounds I've got two of each kind we're gonna do the tutorial for this here but I will show you what these look like as well and if you would like a tutorial later on I'll be happy to do that so first let me show you these two they are the same um, style so let me go ahead and flip through this one so I just simply made this using some double-sided 12 by 12 paper this is the paper pad that I used it's called Botanical Beauty by DCWB and DCWB is starting to put out double-sided paper now in all their paper pads so they've been doing it for a little while now, um, um, but also there's so much other double-sided paper out there. So first let me say that um, this was just kind of like a trial run. Both of these were, I was just kind of playing around with measurements, and so they're not the most perfect albums, but I'll definitely be keeping this as like a little junk journal for myself. But here it is, and this is what the album looks like. It's just got a bunch of really pretty paper. This has a pocket, and here's a little photo mat that I slipped in there so this paper is really pretty it's double sided in the middle there's this really cute pocket you can put anything in there and I used a little scallop punch to cut a little notch here and then it just continues and you don't lose any of the paper at all both sides of the paper are showcased in the album for all the sheets and it was really really easy to put together so there's this one and I just cut a really simple little label out for the front and then here's this one so same thing with this one I didn't make any pockets on the inside but the one we're gonna do in the tutorial will have pockets um, I did put these little pages here but, um, I don't think we're gonna do this in the tutorial we're gonna do pockets instead and it does of course have the middle pocket and then it just continues. So I think these are really fun, really nice gifts. I cannot wait to make a bunch of these around Christmas time with Christmas paper. So this is the album that you're gonna learn to make here in the video today. But let me quickly show you this style. This is made using um, not only double-sided paper, but also um, just regular cardstock, eight and a half by 11. And it makes it a little bit more sturdy and it's got a more finished edge here. And of course they're a little smaller so so here's what these ones look like like I said I need to glue that down better I was just kind of doing a trial run here and trying to figure out measurements and then this has a pocket in the middle as well and it's just a little smaller there's the back and this is more like a, a book because it's got the sturdy cover there's a folded edge and same with this one I did put pockets in this one on the front and the back using some of the scraps here's the pocket I did put a photo mat in there and this um, here's another pocket so this album here well actually both albums were inspired by a really really old video that I remember watching a long time ago and it's uh, Kathy Orta she put out a video um, so many years ago. I'm going to link that video below so you can go see it. But she did a, a project and then she had a little bonus project. And that's where this came from. So I didn't do it exactly like her. She put more pockets in hers. And she didn't put as much paper as me. But I got the inspiration from that video. And then I totally used it and made it my own. Especially for these. Which are the ones we're going to make here on video today. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so each album uses three pieces of 12 by 12 double-sided paper. If you don't have double-sided paper, you can make this with 
single-sided paper. It's just one side will be white and blank. So that's okay. It'll just be um, like one of these sides would be white and the other side would have the print on it. And that's perfectly fine if you want to do that. You can even do more journaling on that white page. Um, but I chose to go ahead and make this project for a double-sided 12 by 12 paper. So like I said, pick three that you like. I chose these three. I'm kind of going for like a vintage theme in this one. So there's this side, and that's the other side. So you're going to cut all these down the same way, and I'm going to show you exactly what that is. So you're going to cut all of your papers down to 8 by 12. So that means that they're 8 inches tall, 12 inches wide. So I did that for each of my pages, and that leaves you with a piece that measures 4 by 12. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and set these aside and take your 4 by 12 pieces. You're going to take one of them and cut it down to, you're going to leave it at four and then cut it down to eight and a quarter. So just keep this because we're going to use it in a little while. So this piece is now four by eight and a quarter. And then you're going to take another piece of, of the four by twelve. So you're going to cut it down to four by seven and three quarters. And again, save this little scrap. Um, so these are the three pieces that we're not using right now, so go ahead and put them aside. So now we're going to work with these. So go ahead and put your smaller pieces aside as well. We're going to use those in just a second. And you're going to work with your 8 by 12 pieces. So now it's time to do some scoring. So you have your scoreboard. You're going to take each piece and put it in on the 12 inch side. This is the top, this is the bottom. You're going to score this at five and a half, six, and six and a half. So let's do that again. You are going to score at five and a half, six, and six and a half. So do that for all three pieces. Okay, next you're going to take these pieces that you had, and you're only going to score, do some scoring on the one that measures eight and a quarter. So what you're going to do is you're going to put it on the eight and a quarter side, and you're just going to score it on both ends a quarter inch. So here is a quarter inch, flip it around, and a quarter inch. Now you don't need your scoreboard anymore. This is okay. So now we're going to go ahead and fold on our score lines. Now this is where you decide what you want for your cover, and I definitely know that I want this to be my cover. So I'm going to go ahead and fold this one first. So remember, we have three score lines. Okay, so this is my cover, and this is going to be. I want this to be my front cover. So we're going to go ahead and fold on all the score lines. So first, I like to score down or fold down the middle on the middle score line. And then take the score line right next to it and fold it over this way. And then turn it around and there's a score line right here. Fold it over. So it's really that simple. You just score and then what ends up happening is you get this little flap right here. Because this is how you scored it. So this is going to be a flap that's coming up in the middle. Okay, so let's go ahead and fold these that way as well. Okay, so now we've got all three of our pages scored and folded. So you're going to choose the page, of course, that you chose for your cover, which is this one. You're going to turn it over so the flap is facing down, and you have this little um, valley right here, and you're just going to go ahead and glue that closed, okay? So what I like to use for this, because it is your kind of your binding, I like to use double-sided tape. So I have this quarter-inch score tape that I'm going to use. 
and you can get this on Amazon and I'm going to link it below for you. So I'm just going to go ahead, don't, um, don't put tape over the score line, just put it right down the middle on both sides of that score line. Let me zoom in. So I'm just putting a piece on each side of that middle score line without going over the score line. So then I like to go ahead and burnish it really well with my bone folder so it sticks really good. And then go ahead and peel off the backing and just get this glued together. So I hope you can kind of see what I'm doing. It's so easy. So as you can see, there's our little flap and we're just gluing this together. Just like that. So just make sure it's really straight. Use your bone folder to make sure it sticks really well. And there you go. So we got it all taped down and there's our little flap right there. And that's what we're gonna use to attach these. Isn't that cool? Okay, so now you're gonna use wet glue. So let me kind of turn it. So again, here's the flap right here. So let's turn it this way and we're gonna go ahead and take one of our other sheets and adhere it right on top like this and then look there's another flap so we need to use wet glue for this so we have room to make it straight and move it around so I'm just gonna take here's that little flap right here I'm just gonna take my wet glue and I'll link this glue below as well and these little glue bottles are awesome they have the stainless steel tip um, so I'll link those below as well this is just a quick quick dry adhesive it's like um, art glitter glue I believe so now you have glue on both sides and now you can go ahead and adhere. Just put that right over it and you have time to make it perfectly straight and lined up because you used wet glue. And then just give it a nice crease. You can use your bone folder if you want to make sure it's glued down really well. And see our little book is coming together. So, so far, we have this. Isn't that cute? My goodness. Okay, and then we just have one more to place on top like this. So do the same thing. Add your wet glue to the flap. And place it on top. You have time to make it straight. And then just squeeze that and make sure that it's nice and even and nice and tight with the glue. Then you can close it up and crease that down again and it's just coming along so well. I love this little book. It's so easy. You don't lose any side of the paper. You get to see both sides. It's so pretty. So that's what we have so far. And this could not be easier, right? Okay, so now we have this, and we have to deal with this flap. It's just hanging out here. So you can add another sheet if you want. I don't like it to get too bulky because it does get kind of bulky here. But what you're going to do is you're going to take your scissors and um, take your album, put it inside out like this so the flap is here, and just miter the corner a little bit at an angle like this. See? And do the same thing for the other side. And you'll see why we did that in just a second. So now you've got your book and you've got your inside flap with the angled corners. So put that aside for a second. Now you're going to get out the two pieces that you cut down to four by eight and a quarter and four by seven and three quarters. So you don't need that right now. So you're going to take this piece that you did the quarter inch score lines on and just crease those down. They're little tiny little folds. So it looks like this right now. I can turn it this way so it looks like that right now with the little folds here okay so we folded those down and you're just gonna add wet glue to the top of the folds on both sides okay and then you're gonna take your seven and three quarter piece and you're going to line that up and glue it down Okay, so I just want to, that's why you're using wet glue. Again, 
You're going to line it up right on top, crease it down, and line it up down here. Make sure it's even. And you've just made yourself a little pocket. So it's open on both ends. But you're going to go ahead and adhere it right in the middle here. And that's why we cut down you know, these at an angle. And I think I need to cut this one a little bit more. If you need to trim it more, that's fine. Go ahead and do it. Just trim it a little tiny bit more. And I'm gonna go ahead and add glue to both sides of the flap again. This is why wet glue is like your best friend for this album. And the wet glue also holds really well. So then just make sure that you have it straight with the way your thing is designed. And actually this one, it doesn't really matter. I do know I want this in the front though. So I'm gonna go ahead and slip it right on that flap and hold it there for a second. Make sure it's glued really well. And you can even kind of flip it like this. Get it with your bone folder. And this way. And now you've got your cute little pocket in the middle. Wasn't that easy? Kathy Orta is, like I said, that video was the inspiration for this. She did like more pockets though. And she didn't do pages like this. So um, you can check her video out as well. But anyways, now what I like to do with this part is I just take any circle punch I have. And I happen to have this one by my craft desk. And it's just a scallop one and a half inch. So I'm just going to take it halfway down, eyeball it. I'm not going to even measure. And just cut out a little notch. So now the cute pocket has a little scallop notch right there. So that's basically the construction of the album. You can like totally mass produce these with a paper pad. If you have a paper pad with 36 sheets in it, you can make 12 of these albums with one paper pad, right? And so um, this is fun. You can decorate it a little bit, but let me show you what a couple more things we're gonna do with it with these little scraps here. Let's go ahead and take this strip. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna cut this down to eight inches. Okay, so then we're gonna cut this down to one and a half inches. So it's gonna be one and a half by eight. So this is gonna be your binding piece for right here. Um, or you don't have to bind it at all, you can leave it bare. I like to bind it for some extra um, just stability, I guess. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that in a minute. Um, but then you're gonna take this piece and you're gonna cut it down to five and a half. And I'm just going to choose a random page to put a pocket on. I think that's cute right there. And we're going to make a cute little pocket. So all you do for this is very simple. You just glue the bottom and the two sides with wet glue. Make sure you use wet glue so whatever you put in there doesn't get stuck because the wet glue will dry clear and flexible. So then just line that up on the page. Make sure it doesn't obstruct your fold here. And you've got an instant pocket. Isn't that so cute? And then you can just take these little scraps that you had left like this and just stick them in there like that. Isn't that adorable? So those can be used as photo mats. Um, so let's go ahead and do two more things. We're going to do the binding and then we're going to round our corners because I like a rounded corner. I like the look of it. This one I did rounded corners and it protects it too so this doesn't get bent. So let's go ahead and do the binding and for the binding I like to use my double sided tape so it's super strong. Okay so I put double sided tape on this binding piece because as you can see I was just kind of fast doing this one and it's coming up. I use like a glue stick or something, so it doesn't really hold. I'm going to go back and glue this down better, but um, I really want your books to be sturdy, so I really recommend ATG or, you know, the double-sided, the red tape or the score tape is amazing. So let's go ahead and put this on our book. So the way I like to do this is I turn it this way, and I will just stick the binding on. 
actually I'm gonna have to turn it this way guys so I can see it I stick the binding on as far as I want it on the front and then I'll use the excess to flip to fold over to the back so I just want to make sure I have this on straight and I will look here to make sure I do and then I will go ahead and crease that down sorry I'm kind of out of frame a little bit but I really want to get this part straight and then you just flip it around and bring the binding to the back it does make the book a little bit tight at first but you can loosen it up so just take your bone folder and really really burnish that down so that stays forever and then I like to take the edge and kind of smooth that down with my bone folder and of course the front is like the most important so now we have a cute little binding right here for our book and all we have to do now is round the corners I'm just using my we are memory keepers corner chomper and I'm using the quarter inch side I love the quarter inch side looks more finished so now is just the part where you can do whatever you want I've been doing really simple embellishments for the front this one I got a little more on there but I really want to make it simple so I'm just gonna get the paper pad back out and that's the good thing about some of these paper pads they come with like a cut apart sheet so I just want to make this really really simple and like organic looking so I'm thinking I really like this this is really pretty it's a vintage let's see here I'm gonna cut this out I mean how pretty is that it's just simple it's a vintage it's got like the little um, font down there going to trim this a little bit. I think that's all I'm going to do. So I'm just going to use wet glue, um, any <laughs> tape in my ATG gun right now. So I'm just going to use some wet glue. And I don't want to put too much because I don't want it to warp. But isn't this pretty? With that like vintage uh, seed paper in the back. I think this is my favorite image. That's so gorgeous. Ooh. I'm going to cut this out. So, like I said, keep these simple. Don't, don't stress yourself out over the decorating. I'm just going to add a little wet glue. And put that right kind of off the edge there. Oh my gosh, that just tied it together for me. I absolutely love that. Okay, so let's do the final flip through of our album. Here is the front. I'm in love with this image and the little seeds that I put there. That is so cute. So then let's just open this up. This is a perfect album for art journaling, um, pictures. You can put tons of pictures on here. You can glue index cards wherever or any journaling spots. It's yours to you know create and do a lot with. Here's a little pocket with some photo mats inside. And I love that all the paper is showcased. And here's our middle pocket where you can put all kinds of goodies. If you're going to make this for like a pen pal, you can fill this up with like ephemera and stuff so they can decorate the album themselves. I really love that idea. Or if this is a gift for somebody where you're putting pictures, you could add more pictures in here or journaling spots. And then here are the next pages. Isn't this gorgeous? This paper is so pretty. And there's that and there's the back oh my gosh I really love this I think it's my favorite out of the three that I made but like I said I need to glue that down a little better but I really love the one that we made here on camera I hope you enjoyed it I'm really excited about this series so you can take this idea make it your own decorate it as much as you want you can you know gift this to a friend with a little plastic baggie full of all the cutouts 
you know, and more ephemera if you want, lace, trim. You can even tie this like several times around with some vintage, oh my gosh, how pretty would that look? If you took some like vintage seam binding and just loosely tied it around like this, wouldn't that be gorgeous? So anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Stay tuned for more videos for inspiration to use up your paper stash. Um, I'm working on them now, and I cannot wait to share them with you. Have a great week, everyone. Bye.